Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Dempatekina Kanojo, episode number one. Uh, but it's like it has only two episodes, so like there's the first episode, and the next week I'm going to do the second episode. So yeah, and uh, okay, uh, I'm going to like talk about two things at the beginning of the video. Number one is like uh, there's a festival going on, so you might like suddenly hear like background noises. So please be sure to ignore that because uh, like it will like go on like that for a couple of days so yeah like that is like an annoyance but still you can't do anything and another thing is like uh, in my previous episode like uh, there was also like this background noise going on and like uh, songs were being played outside my like house in like the streets in loudspeakers and the thing is like the funny thing is like one of the songs because like because of one of the songs my <laughs> my video <laughs> got content and claimed now like like I know like YouTube is I mean like this like you can't do anything so like I was thinking like this is why like like reactors can't put like uh, like sounds and like uh, actual footage of the videos uh, even even though we are like commenting on it and like it's like on like a transformative uh, use but still we can't do anything like like a like a song from like outside my streets because of that my uh, like uh, video got flagged for like one minutes or two minutes in a like 45 minutes video like what the hell YouTube <laughs> anyway that's just something that I wanted to like get out of my system like I was extremely pissed at that like not because of like it, like it was nothing it was like n not at all like uh, any way uh, like what I was doing like I'm doing an anime reaction video and the thing that got uh, our content ID flagged was like a random song outside in the streets great job anyways uh, yeah that was just something that i wanted to like get out of my system like i was pissed and all so yeah okay so uh, okay this uh, this anime uh, this is called like dempate no kanujo and this has like two episodes is like more like an ova and one episode is like 42 minutes long so like i'll not be able to do it in one video so i'll be doing it in two videos uh, because i'll have also have to like talk about it so it will like take one more than one hour for the video to be so yeah uh, guys and uh, I started this like uh, video because uh, this reaction video because after like uh, someone recommended it to me in the comments uh, I got extremely like uh, curious about after like reading and reading the summary because the summary was quite intriguing so yeah let's see what this is about so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with Tempa Tekina Kanojo episode number one Okay, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Hmm, okay. A city. Modern city. Oh, okay. Hmm. What the hell? All right. So, yes, this What the hell is happening? What? <laughs> what is this parasite the maxim? Oh my god, what the hell? Oh my god. I wonder if I'm pathetic. Oh. Yuzawa Zhu is a king. A lone wolf, the king of himself. <clears throat> Shh. 
surely if it's him dimpati kino kana jo okay so we like get uh, <laughs> delinquent like main character Okay. <laughs> um, I have something to tell you. Meet me under. Oh, so okay, like he's getting getting like harassed, as we saw in the previous scene. Okay, so oh Wow, she is short <laughs> What how is she What is this a tunibia? Is she extremely short or is he like extremely tall? <laughs> um, all humans hide their true selves. Uh, the moment everything is taken away. What will he show me? Oh, she's like following him. <laughs> oh my god, what the how? <laughs> um no, okay. Well, Who the hell is this? <coughs> Why is he like she calling him Ju Gun? So like she knows him? Yeah. Phantom serial killer. Organ harvesting killers. Girl, like some kind of oh, it still hasn't reached. Um. Okay, good to know. Oh my god, again. Oh my god, <laughs> what? Oh no, what's with that umbrella? Um, um you'll get the holy umbrella. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. 
this umbrella like uh yeah you should probably do that now <laughs> Um <laughs> Army. Okay. I saw this is uh, like summary, so Hmm. Mm, we don't get the explanation. Oh. <laughs> okay. You should not do that to someone. Um, okay. Hmm. Eleven victims. So she he leads alone, I'm guessing, like no one's in the house. Hmm, mom and dad probably. Oh no, is she like going to be another victim or something? <coughs> Excuse me. What? Um, did she like break into his house or something? Oh my uh. <laughs> <laughs> Um <laughs> Oh my god, this... Okay. Oh my god, this guy has like, uh, like inferiority complex. Um, um, I don't think that's how you like mm. Okay Hmm
like th there's like an emphasis on this like what is this like some kind of a doll or something hmm oh no it's that place where like that girl was like that class president girl Did he like go out of his heart? What the hell is happening? What's happening? Oh no. Yep. God damn it. Someone else was here, wasn't he? Like, there was like a scream. Oh no, a baseball bat. Sound of a baseball bat. Dragging across the ground. Uh... Mm, I don't think you should like touch it like that. You can get like suspected. <laughs> what? No, a, a culprit doesn't come back to the crime scene. What the hell? Yeah, like what? Oh, what the heck? Translator. She talks in a like uh, ancient like dialect that like people used previously. Hmm. There is a reason. Um. Hmm. There are people like that, but not in all cases. Mental stress. Okay. Like, yeah, how can you say that? Complete rationality. Why the hell is he like suspecting her? I don't get it. Hmm? That can also be one thing. Oh my god, like what is her house? <laughs> Wait, how did she get all of this? Uh, 
ok so she like goes around and like takes pictures of them oh no ok image board yeah like after like beating him up hmm intent to ensure the death okay too many yeah yeah okay <laughs> well. but what you want to like bring her death to justice oh Okay, what? Oh, where? Oh, is it, is there like criminal like taking pictures and killing them and then like posting it out or something like that? Finally, it reached him. My god this guy I, I I can't understand one thing like why is he like like so intently suspecting her like if she was a criminal she wouldn't have done all of, all of this like coming into contact with you and showing you all of these my god okay I don't know like <laughs> like if she is somehow connected to two of them Oh, she has friends or something? Who the hell is this? Oh, her sister. Don't okay, she knows something. <laughs> uh, um, okay. And you missed them. Okay, so what's what are you going to do now? Hmm. Rule ah. <clears throat> okay. I'm guessing like the criminal is like the guy we saw at the first few like second uh, like starting of the episode. He was saying something about the government or something like ID hidden. Park. Telling him to go to the park. 
Hmm, okay. So what's going to happen? Another mm, victim. Oh, okay, well. This guy. Okay. What the hell is wrong with this guy? So he like told him that I'm the I'm the criminal, didn't he? Like it's like the same as telling him. Oh boy, this guy's delusional. Or I don't know. Well, thank God, like, it got clear. Like, this guy was so persistently following her and everything. Says the guy who. <laughs> okay. Oh no, this guy is. Well, he's a like murderer. Obviously, he like has some skills. Oh. Okay, yes. Good job. Good job. That was a good job. Good punch. Yeah, hit him, hit him. Um you should at least like knock him out. Um What are you doing? Why are you like what the hell? Thank you. My god, this guy is like so... <laughs> Why was he like... <laughs> Bond of your previous life. <laughs> You're like putting your back towards a guy who like tried to kill you. Like what? Well, thank God for that, otherwise he would have, like, died. Okay, oh, alright. 50%. Well, she knew this, so... No, <laughs> she changed. allowed to kill what happened to that guy like was he like so is this case like over like he was captured Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she is quite short. Well, wow, she slapped him in blood. That was like a hard slap then. <laughs> Or it was like after effect. Hmm.
But one thing I'm glad about is like the misunderstanding got like resolved. If like this thing like continued for the whole like anime, I, I would have been like frustrated and pissed. Like how this guy continually like suspected her and all. Like thank God it got resolved. Yeah, he killed himself. Oh, so hmm. Um. Um. No. Hmm. <laughs> Oh no! What the? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh my god, a yandere is here. Run, run for your lives. <laughs> oh, you can't run. Oh no, this is... She, she was the accomplice. Okay. She was the accomplice, wasn't she? Oh boy. Okay. Well, the bonds of your previous life. What the... Is she the accomplice or uh, no? I, okay, no. She. I, th I don't think she's the accomplice. What the hell is happening? Yeah, please. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, that guy. So, the first thing was that, okay. Hmm. Well, he was like delusional and everything. Reflections and regret. Oh, um. Oh my god. <laughs> no one would believe. Oh, okay. Once I revealed, oh, she was the one. So was like she was like going alongside him. Oh, so she was the one who like used the wires. God damn it.
Well, she is also like Okay, so all right. So this is kind of she is the accomplice. Okay. Well, that was her then. Hmm. Oh, so she was the one. Okay, my God. My God. <laughs> and here she is. Oh, well, she came prepared. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> well, previous life. Yes. <laughs> Oh. Oh no. Yes. Well, everyone is weird in this. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um. Oh no. What was that? Like some kind of. Oh. Well, she was also a victim, so... What is that, like box cutter? Um, call the ambulance? If you don't want him to die, please. Oh, God. Oh, so he knew him, uh, knew her.
Okay, so like this. Okay, so I'm guessing like this kind of became the trigger for her like delusions. I'm guessing those are delusions, like uh, the thing with the past lives and all. Like because of that thing that happened in her childhood, like uh, when June like gave him uh, gave her the prince doll. She started like thinking these. <laughs> well, I mean, so yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what happened to that girl? Like Hmm. Okay, so so this is like a like a little s story in episode one. So I'm guessing like there'll be more in episode two. Like this was kind of like uh, had a closure to the story, so we'll some get something new in the next episode. Hmm, and this song is nice as well. Okay, yeah, this, this song is quite good. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so one thing that I'm like, like this, like, um, like this uh, episode was like. A bit kind of what can I say like I was not able to pinpoint the genre of the anime like um, like like there are like uh, animes which are like uh, like do not have any fantastical elements in it but there are also animes which are like in a more like a one modern world but there are also like fantastical elements in the beginning I thought like maybe like that guy was like saying stuff like I'm a government operative and like aliens and stuff like this so I thought that maybe this is like more like an anime which is like uh, based on a modern time but has like these type of magical or fantastical elements in it but then I kind of like thought later on like maybe that's not it like this is more like a, what can I say like um, these guys are like uh, like making things up like these are like delusions like the guy who was like the murderer as well like he was also delusional and the uh, like Ame, Ame is also like kind of delusional in that case like she talks about previous lives and all uh, even though like uh, that might not be the case so okay that's the end okay so yeah like the thing is like if like this anime 
consisted of things like previous lives uh just take I, i'm only taking the fact that uh, let's just think that this has like previous lives and stuff like those just like ame said then like the fantastical genre will it, it will like fall in inside the fan- fantastical gen- genre and like uh, the genre will be fan- fantasy as well but if like the things that ame said and that the guy said that these are like aliens and stuff these are like only delusions then there will be no fantastical elements in it this will not fall under the genre of fantasy so as far as i understood i don't think like these like the guys the guy that he said like these are like aliens and i'm a government op- operative and ame saying that uh, you're from a previous life i think like these are kind of delusions like not te- they talk not technically delusions but they're kind of like a thing that they made up uh, for various like uh, reasons like the guy made of made up those things maybe because he was somehow like kind of like crazy and like it like uh, acted as kind of like a counter thing that uh, like he made up to like cope up with the things that he did like those murders and in case of ame i'm guessing like uh, she made this like previous life and stuff like this after like uh, the scene that we saw at the end that uh, they kind of made in the childhood and like the like i forgot his name the main guy's name he like gave ame um the doll of the prince doll and i'm thinking like after though like after like like maybe she was like somehow like sad about something and uh like he helped her at that time so she kind of made up all of those things like uh, i'm a, like uh, i was a knight in the previous life and you were my king stuff like this so if that's the case and this is not a fantasy clan like this was like genre was quite uh like um what can i say was i was unable to understand it properly but as far as i think like this is like a normal uh what can i say a normal anime like with, without any superpowers or without any like uh, previous lives or stuff like those like this is just like a normal anime these guys are like kind of making up things up to cope up with their like different kinds of uh, thing that they have gone through and uh, yeah i think like that is more like the case man uh, like i was a li- little bit confused previously like also after like we're reading the summary like the summary said like uh, only the thing the summary said was like a girl was like uh, saying stuff like uh, i'm a knight from your previous life and you are my king so i was guessing like uh, because like this had previous life and stuff like those i was guessing like this was like some kind of uh, a show where like uh, which had fantasy elements in it but apparently not i don't think that is the case like these uh, like guys and uh, the girls are all like normal like they live in a normal society like this has no supernatural element to it but these are the things that they made up to cope up with various things yeah and uh, okay so one thing um at the beginning i was kind of like annoyed at the guy because the things that he like uh came into conclusion to like had no basis like first of all um the criminal unless and until he or she is extremely what can i say like crazy won't go to the crime scene uh the guy like the uh, original murderer is kind of like that like he was extremely crazy like he like he killed someone and just like uh, abruptly said that i am a government operative so i uh, like removed him from the uh, from this world stuff like that he might do that but unless and until like the criminal is completely like uh, what can i say has a screw loose uh, he won't do that he or she won't do that so after talking with ame just a second yeah guys i'm back um so yeah after like talking with uh, the yeah what was i saying mm. so yeah unless and until he's like a complete nut job like that so i don't think he's going to do something like that like coming back to a uh, like crime scene after like you've committed a murder uh, that's not how it happens so i was like extremely frustrated at the decisions that the guy made like for example he was like he talked with her and after like talking with her, I, i can kind of guess like he became kind of like concerned for her because 
she was talking stuff like your previous lives and stuff like that so i can kind of guess like he thought that she was also uh, like a crazy person but like i don't know like uh, i was extremely frustrated at that like he was like continuously like like putting all the suspicions on her without even like trying to <laughs> well i can't blame him even like if you like hear stuff like that suddenly after meeting someone for the first time i'm sure like you'll also like <laughs> yeah so okay okay i kind of like but it, it was still frustrating because like um but thank god the the like the suspicion got cleared out and uh like if this continued for the whole like two episodes i would have been more pissed off at that so <laughs> yeah like thank god for that like he became um like the confusion got cleared out and most probably in the next episode uh, there will be no more confusions like this and it will like continue to like uh uh the story will continue for that uh yeah and okay so that was the thing with uh the guy like the, the only little complaint i had about him but thankfully that won't happen again and uh, what else okay so the thing with the government operative guy like his delusions and everything so i'm guessing he was crazy like that's the only thing i can like uh make out from the whole episode and uh i don't know like uh, <laughs> if this like really turns out to be some kind of like supernatural elements having uh, like this anime uh, like become something like it has some kind of supernatural elements uh, i will be really surprised in the next episode because like this episode kind of like uh, made the fact uh, like solid that uh, this was no like supernatural this had no supernatural elements this was not a fantastical anime this is just like a normal anime so yeah i'll be really surprised if it really turns out to be something like that <laughs> in the next episode but anyways like yeah as i was saying like so yeah so that guy was i'm guessing crazy because of something probably like some kind of experience he had or like something that made him completely crazy and yeah like and the other girl like uh and she was also like a victim so like each and every character in this um anime is kind of delusional in that case only the class representative was uh, a different case and uh, the guy obviously uh, like he is normal and all but otherwise like some like in some ways each and every character is kind of like like yeah you can guess what i'm trying to say so yeah and yeah that the other girl was also kind of like a victim so like i don't know like I think I should not blame him but at the same time she also did stuff which are like not okay because like uh, even though like the guy killed the, uh, all of the other like victims she said stuff like yeah I made sure that the people do not live and like she like wired them around and completely killed them even though if like they had the simple chance of being alive she like uh, snuffed that out and like thinking about it like that she is guilty as well and i don't know what happened like was she like uh, i don't think she was arrested so like ever, like they forgave him for all of the stick that he she did i don't know like i think the best thing that like, she should do is like uh, go talk to a psychiatrist like, like go get medical attention like uh the thing that she did those are like due to a mental um kind of like a mental stress that she had and uh the result for that so i think like she should proper like get proper medical help and like otherwise she will like start doing this stuff again all over again and it will all be for naught and yeah like it was kind of like uh did not show what actually happened to her after that so and uh, the original murderer that is that the criminal Uh, so after getting like arrested i think like he killed himself or something or was he arrested i did not like uh, i can't quite remember that portion like was he arrested or like was he like uh, i don't know anyways but like the main thing is like he like himself committed suicide so yeah and uh, well that was like an interesting episode i did not um expect all of these happening and like <laughs> like one thing that i was really surprised about was like uh the other girl like her suddenly becoming like this like yandreish type 
<laughs> like I, that was like completely unexpected and it caught me by surprise like she was all like talking like nice with the guy and everything like <laughs> and then suddenly like she st- started saying stuff like is the drug working or something <laughs> like what <laughs> oh my god yep and uh, yeah that's yandre is in a nutshell like they will like spike you and then <laughs> like and then mess you up oh, that's some scary stuff and yeah like these are like all okay in animes but if you like <laughs> meet people like this in real life you should probably run like like these are all like good in like <laughs> on the other side of the screen not in <laughs> in the real world so yeah okay so yeah that was this episode like um yeah the characters are like quite interesting uh, even though i had kind of like a little bit of frustrations with the main character i think uh like he like uh he won't be like that anymore in the next episode and he'll be like like the one of the like a few thing that he did was kind of like stupid because one thing that he did like was like he like even though he was able to like completely like uh knock out the murderer he stood up and like turned his back towards him even though he was not completely knocked out like what how, like how why why should you do, why would you do that like like i was completely expecting him to get like like what can i say injured somehow but thankfully like the uh, the girl like ame was like following him and your stalker saved you basically <laughs> and yeah those are the few things that i can kind of like uh, frustrated about but i'm guessing like he will like he's changed now and from the next episode we'll probably get to see the more cooler side of him like he is a, like a cool character because like the way he kind of like uh like knocked out that guy like he like spit his teeth out and then like uh changed like uh made the watch uh, around uh, like wore the watch around his fists and knocked him out like that like that was clever thinking and that was like something uh like quick thinking and like so uh, he is kind of like a cool character but the thing he did after that like totally like negated all of those things like i was thinking like why why would you do that but guess what this is an anime and stuff like this happens in anime like you knock someone out and then you put your like back towards him and the guy comes out and turns the whole table on you so yeah anyways guys that was this episode that was like episode 1 of dempateki nakanojo and uh, yeah that was uh, like enjoyable and i really like like that whole thing and i'm guessing like it will like uh, and then we'll get another short story like this in the next episode so i'm looking forward to that and uh, yeah so yeah i i really enjoyed this episode i was like intrigued by the summary it's in itself after like uh, watching the episode uh it was enjoyable and i really liked it and i'm quite looking forward to the next episode which will be which i will react to next week so yeah guys thank you guys for watching uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share about this episode or anything in general be sure to comment down below and if you have like any kind of like movie uh, reactions you want me to do also comment down below and uh, so yeah i'll be back with a new dempatekina kanoji episode um next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day